Chemical Research and Toxicology, I think, is a, a really important journal for the field. It's a journal that um, has a concept that I think is very important for the science of toxicology, and it, it's really had a big impact on the development of my science and, and the development of my career. So an exciting development in the field is really the growth of, of studies that are doing in vitro toxicology. So this is avoiding the use of animals in toxicology studies, and hand in hand with that, really using high content data analysis, so doing things like metabolomics and studies where we're really monitoring multiple um, molecular changes altogether and using that to understand the basis of, of mechanisms of toxicity. Our research is focused on understanding how exposure to chemicals such as from uh, the diet or from the environment lead to the development of diseases such as cancer. So one of the two things that we'd really like to do is to expand the scientific scope of the journal and really um, promote the global reach of the journal. And from a scientific perspective, toxicology has really undergone a, a major shift in recent years from being a very observational science to really focusing on being a predictive science. And fundamental to that is really understanding mechanisms, and, and that has always been a central aspect of chemical research and toxicology, but recently that has become more and more relevant for a lot of very currently important areas. So, um, so things like environmental toxicology, nanomaterials, uh, safety, um, developmental toxicology, really um, toxicology as a whole is really embracing the importance of mechanism. And so I think this is a, a key time for chemical research and toxicology to really um, expand the scope and, and encompass these areas. And, and then maybe the, the global reach is, I guess, needs little explanation. Science is really so global, but it's, it's something that's really personally valuable to me also. Um, I, I come from a family of immigrants, grew up in the United States, and have been doing science in Europe for the past eight years, and so I, I really value diversity and, and how that can make science better. We, we talked about the expanding the scope, and hand in hand with that is that there will be a new team of associate editors coming on board, and these are people that really uh, represent uh, some of the new areas we'd like to promote in the journal, and, and also represent this geographic diversity that we're really trying to promote. So we'll have uh, associate editors really from around the world. So one piece of advice for young researchers is, is really stressing the importance of being able to communicate the motivation and relevance for what you're working on. And two, I would say there's two pieces of advice that I, I really have valued having early in my career. And one was um, how important it is to be able to connect the dots between concepts. So really always be aware of learning new things, but really try to understand how how different areas can connect and be connected to each other. And uh, another piece of advice was, was really the importance of interacting with the scientific community. I, I think the relevance of toxicology is really exciting and motivating. Uh, the, the opportunity for um, taking fundamental scientific knowledge and really doing something that can impact public health and the safety of people and the environment. This is a direction that I think is very promising and has made a lot of advances and has a lot of, um, a lot of goals that can be addressed into the future.